On October 1st, 2011, the Burlington Performing Arts Center opened its doors. And Brian, you have a very vast background that is, I would call it a terrific benefit to Burlington. Let's let our viewers know a little bit of what, about what your background is. Sure. I mean, I've had a bit of a history of opening new performing arts centers. So I was the uh, first director of the Performing Arts Center at the University of Lethbridge in Alberta. And then I went from there to uh, Thunder Bay, to the Thunder Bay Community Auditorium. I was the first director there and opened that building. And then uh, the last position was as cultural director at the uh, city of Kingston. I think one of the concerns when this building first opened was that there was going to be a limited amount of community involvement with the theatre for a variety of reasons, but in fact that's not true. Yeah, actually we were just looking at the number of uses for this current year for 2013 and we had about 306 uses of the building and out of that um, a little over 200 were community, so 150 of that were community nonprofits, and then 50 were uh, sort of for-profit events but coming out of community organizations. What do you think, in your opinion, what, what are the expectations for what attendance could be here on a whole range of things, not just for community events? Yeah, I mean, we're seeing a real upswing in, in attendance this fall. has been really quite extraordinary. We've been up a little over 80%. Um, so uh, definitely that's part of it. I mean, obviously when you do performances, you like to see them, the houses full, mm -hmm. but that's not our only focus. I mean, sometimes we feel that uh, there's a particular type of performance that it's really important for the community to see that. Mm -hmm. And so, f uh, you know, filling the house is not, it's a, it would be nice, but we know realistically that that's not going to happen. So it's really, it's all about balance. You know, how do we balance the those events that we feel it's important to bring to the community and then how do we balance that against uh, you know events that'll generate revenues for us right. now each executive director has their own unique technique in how to shape what the programming is going to look like going forward mm -hmm. you are embarking on that what is your particular technique and what is your focus on what you want to see here well, again, I think uh, because we've worked uh, with, uh, you know, Burlington's worked as part of a consortium. I mean, we work together to bring artists. So it's really a lot of us coming together with our own ideas and trying to trying to uh, shape that. Um, so, I, you know, I keep saying I, I don't think people are going to see a revolutionary change. They might see a, an evolutionary change over the next couple of years. There's a few things I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get... Uh, you know, at least a couple Broadway shows here because I think it's a great hall for Broadway and, you know, we've got a great stage. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm looking at doing maybe a couple of comedy uh, things as well. But it's really, as I said, growing, growing what uh, Brenda has established, which I think is a really good program. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just bringing in, continue to bring in uh, exciting artists. Brian, you are a great asset to the city, as is this wonderful facility. And for all of you, if you are interested in what might be going on down here now or in the future, take a look at their website, burlingtonpac.ca, or call the box office, 905-681-6000. For Halton Insider, I'm Deb Timstra.